In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a GitHub repo utilizing the GitHub REST API. For the first step, we need to generate a personal access token. This is used so that the GitHub REST API knows who we are when we make the request. So to start, go ahead and just go to your settings here in the top right, and then scroll down to developer settings, and then go to the personal access token, and then click on generate new token. And once you get to the screen, go ahead and just name your personal access token. And afterwards, select an expiration date. I'll just do seven days for this example. And now go ahead and just select this first checkbox next to repo. And then go ahead and just click generate token. And make sure to copy the token here because um, once you leave this page, you won't be able to see it anymore. And now once you have your token copied, go ahead and open up a application like Postman or any other app that can make HTTP calls. And now that you have Postman open, go ahead and change this to post and make sure you type in the URL that you see here exactly in your input box as well. And then next, go to your authorization tab and make sure you select bearer token and go ahead and paste the uh, token that we copied from GitHub. And now just go to the body tab and here, go ahead and just make sure to select raw and then make sure this option says JSON and go ahead and just copy exactly what you see here. And for the name, you can name it whatever you'd like. And the description, you can also just have any description you would like as well. And now if you've done everything correctly, when we hit send, we just have to wait in the request. We should get a 201 created uh, HTTP like status back, and as well as all the info about the repo that we just made. And now if we go back to our GitHub repos, we should see the repo that we just created with our API call. And as you can see here, the name is tutorial repo, and the description is this is from an API call which is exactly the data that we passed in as part of the HTTP request to the GitHub REST API. And if you want more information about the specific API call, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description to the GitHub documentation where it explains exactly uh, what data is needed to make this exact call. And as you can see here, name is the only required parameter, whereas everything else is optional. But yeah, those are pretty much all the steps to create your own GitHub repo using the GitHub REST API. If you found this video helpful in any way, please like the video and subscribe for more content.